Welcome to my YouTube channel, Let's Start Tutorials. Actually, today is about how to file KRA near returns. I'll be taking you one on one. One on my one of my clients in my YouTube channel, Let's Start Tutorials, told me to show them how to retrieve the KRA password and how to file the KRA tax and how to generate uh, KRA tax compliance certificate. I'll be taking you one on one. I show you take me to the end of the video recording and subscribe, like, share, and comment in my YouTube channel, Lifestyle Tutorials. So the very first thing that you need to, need when you're filing returns, you need to come to kra.go.ke. Then you need to come to online services. Then we'll come to pin pin register pin 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 registration. So we'll come to this uh, platform, ITAX, ITAX on online platform. This is, this is where, where somebody is able to file K nail returns. In case you, you don't have a KRA pin, 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 you can, uh, you will, uh, you will come here and register for a new pin registration. But in the description link, you will find a, a video that uh, leads you to how to register KRA pin on another tutorial. So we'll say continue. Once we once we say continue, our challenge today that that we are going to we are trying to tackle is uh, in case somebody has the KRA pin but do not have the KRA pin password. So we don't have the we don't have have our password, but we 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 want to retrieve it. So we will have to fill in these these security stamp. One hundred plus seven is one o seven. This one ensures that that we are not a robot. Or any auto 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 generated robots will not will not be able to retrieve your password. So so uh, once we come, we will come and say for forgotten my password. Once we say once we log into forgotten pass password, it is important to have logged in your email address concurrently so that because because K K R once we retrieve we retrieve. It will send to the to the email address that was used to register these these email address. It tells us that uh, to you to fill our user ID card, which is mandatory. The X dash is is mandatory. We also need to confirm the security stamp. Forty nine minus thirteen is uh, thirty six. There is thirty six. We submit it. So it will tell us it will tell us that that that. Yeah, in a minute, in a few minutes, it tell, tell us your password has been mailed to you. Operation is successful. So we expect when we get uh, into our email address, we'll be able to, we'll find that uh, that the, that they have uh, they have uh, sent, sent us the email address. The email address. The email may 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 may, may take uh, about about to about a few seconds. But we with that with that now now I think we, we are set to go. We what we'll do we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just now come we'll just we'll just, we will it, it, this is the password that uh, the password reset retrieval service that has sent us the password. It tells us password reset reset for KRA portal account. Dear tax taxpayer, your KRA web portal account password has been reset. Your login ID new uh, new passwords are here. My log, our login ID is our KRA pin, but our KRA pin password has been reset. So we will copy, we will, we will copy paste it, and we come here and try to and try to log in. So we'll come back. We will uh, it tells us to use our KRA pin. This is our KRA pin. Let us copy paste it. Copy paste it from the email from from our, our mother email address. Then we'll come here and paste it. We say continue. Now when it comes to the password, we'll not we'll not say if we forgot it. Since we've just retrieved, we'll copy paste it. Come and paste it here. Then we'll the the paste functionality cannot be used for password. It tells us the paste. The paste cannot be used for password. It tells us that we cannot paste. 
you cannot paste a password from from uh, where we uh, from this KRA retrieval retrieval password reset pa uh, reset pass password. So what we'll do we'll do is uh, we'll have to log log in our password. Then we come and fill our security stamp, which is 84, 84, 84 plus five. Then we'll be able to log in. Once we log in. Uh, we'll we'll go and file our new returns and have to generate our tax compliance certificate and we'll be good to go so ensure you stick with me to the end of the video recording today my wi-fi is my wi-fi is disturbing it's a uh, it's taking some time to load but mean, meanwhile meanwhile uh, let, let, let us continue it, uh, wi-fi was hanging but it, it, has, it has come back so what we'll be, be doing 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 here it says uh, all the fields with the annex are mandatory we need to fill the old password then we fill the new password we select a, 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 a security question we'll select which high school which uh, which is which is a favorite color that's a simple one we will indicate it's it's uh, it's it's uh, it is blue blue color ensure you confirm the answer again the blue color we'll we'll reset up uh, uh, the we'll fill the old password and once we, we uh, once we, then we'll come here and say that uh, that the password that we are we are going to to set has a guidelines principle the password must be minimum eight letters it should contain uppercase and lowercase and it should go it, it should contain the special digits and it should be should be in should be a word in any language or slang or direct or jargon and should be set based on the personal information name of the family so ensure that uh, the the password the password is is strong it has to has all these guidelines for secure password policy though that is the password that you're going to set here once we set it if it is it, if, it, if it is strong it will reflect uh, the, a color here we put our password but it tells us if the password is uh, generally fair let us uh, I, I have read the kra website sec secure secure password uh, password policy guideline we have to tick that one then we'll submit once we submit so it tells us that your password has been successfully changed once it says that as, as that is okay the second thing will come and file nail returns because uh, my client has not uh, reached reached a position where, where they are in any income once we file the returns we will auto generate our our tax compliance certificate for the type it's compulsory we we put a type here then we will tax uh, tax pin our tax pin is there then obligation individual tax resident individual then we'll come here and press next 